And hello everybody, my name is Nico the Legend, here to give you more Mass Effect Andromeda, Bioware, everything, Roundup news. Not everything, I lied, I'm sorry. So today, we have something of a bit of a discovery. And as the title suggests, yes, Mass Effect Andromeda is resurrected, but not in the way that you are thinking. No, 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 let me just get, let me just get straight to the point. There's still not going to be any single player DLC or anything like that for the game. N nothing, anything video game like esque for it is not going to be existing. So I'm sorry if you clicked the video and you found out this truth right away. But for those of you that are still holding on to something to get out of Mass Effect Andromeda's poor, poor uh, display of closure that we've seen in recent times. <laughs> yes, I myself included. And this is probably going to be the best thing we're going to get. So let me just get right into it. I'm going to read this article as well, considering it's really not that long. It's just a really brief summary, and then we'll talk about it a little bit afterwards. Okay, so Mass Effect is releasing a novel post Andromeda, basically right after what Andromeda uh, did. Right after. And you know, you hear about the Corians and everything? Yes. Mass Effect Annihilation is the name, and it does have to do with the Corian arc. Now, I will read the article now. Now, 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 now. Discover the danger aboard the Corian arc in Mass Effect Annihilation, an upcoming novel from Hugo Award winning author Catherine M. Valente. Valente, I'm sorry. This official tie in novel chronicles the journey of the Kila Sal Salia. Salah, as it carries 20,000 Drell, Elcor, Batarian, and Quarian colonists to Andromeda. Looks like Batarians are coming aboard, the, aboard it. Anyway, a pathogen is discovered aboard the Ark after many Drell are found dead in their cryopods. As the pathogen jumps species, the ship systems begin to fail. Make it clear this is no accident. So far, we've gotten a prequel to Mass Effect Andromeda, so now we're getting a sequel to the game now. I have read Mass Effect Andromeda Uprising uh, after I, you know, I after I beat Mass Effect Andromeda. I, when it comes to like reading prequels or playing prequels, you always want to play the game that came before because then it kind of just, it, it just kind of flows well that way. Um, I don't know, the tie-ins just seem a lot more natural instead of just doing the pre, like, I mean, no one's going to want to read the prequel book before playing the game. That's kind of a... you got to have a lot of patience for that. And uh, not many people do. So what I did, I played Andromeda, and then I read Uprising. Now, Uprising was... Uh, about two-thirds of the book was really boring. It's not by the same author, either. Uh, it's by a different person. I can't remember the person's name, but you can, uh, you can look it up uh, anywhere on the internet to find out. But... It, I definitely know for sure it's a different author. Um, I, yeah, I didn't really like two-thirds of the book. I thought it was really boring. Uh, a lot of technical stuff in it and a lot of political stuff in it. Um, but, I mean, I understand that it, it made sense uh, during that time because you found out uh, what you know that an uprising did happen in the main game. And it's been a year since uh, they've made any contact with anybody with an arc... Uh, so they just been chilling there in the Hyperion. So yeah, the, the last part of the book was when it started to get interesting. There was actually some really good action, some betrayal, some really high suspenseful stuff. Um, and w which was, with me, which makes a book really good. I, I love a book that's always uh, moving, uh, progressing forward. Uh, it was very, very, very slow build up to it though in the beginning. So if you, you guys should read it though, uh, cause it does help explain a lot of things, especially um, with uh, a lot of main characters that you see throughout Andromeda, especially that badass woman that's hanging out on a planet, ruling a certain amount of people. Yeah, you know the name. If you don't, you just have to play the game and find out. I don't want to spoil it. Uh, but this this sequel to uh, Andromeda, it's I, don't, I I wouldn't consider it an insult. 
I, I mean, I, I mean, I guess you could consider it an insult because it's a kind of cheap way, uh, a cheap way out of a bad situation, and kind of indirectly solving the problem in per se. Um, obviously, the best way that would have saved Andromeda was adding DLC to kind of fill in the plot holes and you know just sum everything up. But that didn't happen, we didn't get it, so that's just something we're going to have to deal with because of all the money and finance and bullshit and political stuff. So I'm glad that Catherine, I don't know if, if Bioware or EA came to her and wanting her to write this book or she just volunteered, but it's going to be nice to see some closure to a plot hole in, in drama that we've always wanted to see. And the bad thing is, a lot of gamers that don't read books that just want to play the game and get everything out of it that they can possibly get are going to be very disappointed because now they're going to be forced to sit there, read a book quietly, and hope to God that it does an okay job of uh, relieving your stress. Me, on the other hand, I love reading, and I'm also a writer of myself, so I don't mind doing this. I just hope it's not as... Uh, not as boring as the first book. I don't want to say crappy Because it wasn't a crappy book. It was just boring for the most part S uh, Snoresville <laughs> Like I said first two-thirds of it the the final act is where it really matters uh, where it's really awesome um, So uh, yeah, like I said, I'm excited to hear what the Drell are doing the Elcor Batarians and Quarians, and we were always speculating if the Batarians were coming on their own arc or what what was you know what was going on but this is an arc that carries a multiple species on it not just one because there was like what four three four arcs so you had the Turians you had uh, you had the Salarians you had the Asari yeah there was four and then you had the humans and then you know the Krogan just came on aboard as just additional stuff but they didn't have their own arc <laughs> they were pissed off about that uh, but this one is going to be an arc that has a lot of things. So yeah, it's, I hope it's exciting. I hope... Usually, uh, a synopsis like this, like some type of virus or some type of biochemical thing, kind of like a Resident Evil type approach, or... Um, it's a sci-fi thing. I don't know if you guys read Star Wars Death Troopers, but it's, it's, it has a, it's a really good Star Wars horror book. And the synopsis of it is really good. You find a derelict uh, Star Destroyer. Anyway, awesome book. You should read it. But this is something also that seems more on the horror aspect of, uh, of, of a plot. So if if it is a horror type book with crazy amount of suspense, uh, because you know, it's some type of pathogen that's destroying Drell, and it's like, well, well they they don't, they're not going to know why right away. So I'm hoping it's in the horror genre because that'd be really fucking cool. And seeing a bunch of Batarians just start going ape shit and trying to take out some Elcor because we've never seen Elcors fight. And you know, in Mass Effect 3, they explain that they do fight. Uh, they do know how to fight. <laughs> One of the characters we've always wanted to see in the multiplayer for Mass Effect 3. I mean, we got Volus. <laughs> we got, yeah, we got the Volus, which was really, really funny. Uh, but they were some powerful biotics. They're, they're probably the most interesting looking uh, species uh, in Mass Effect, besides besides the Elcors. Actually, all the species look pretty interesting. But the fact that we can't see the faces of the Volus, which makes it even more mystery, just like the Corians. Um, so guys, I wanted to give you that news. Andromeda has been somewhat resurrected, okay? Whether you like it or not, it's something. It's something. It's something. I don't know how much I can uh, stress that enough. But I just... Uh, just hope you guys can uh, check it out and at least find some type of some type of closure and some stress stress relief for yourself. Because I understand. I understand. Anyway, Pathfinders, thank you very much.